hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's been a while i posted a video i've been busy all for the whole of last week but thank god i'm free to pose this tutorial so this is an off show this is an asymmetric um blouse and the sleeve and the blouse is cut together so i'd have loved to cut directly on fabric but then some of us always complain that they cannot see the markings and all on the fabric so i would prefer to draft on paper but if you want to cut your own you can cut it directly on your fabric okay i'm only cutting on paper for tutorial purpose so that everybody can see so that everyone can see what i'm doing okay mm -hmm. so if you're new if you're new on my channel kindly hit the subscribe button and you can also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any tutorial Okay, so my paper is on fold and I had to join papers because um, the length of the blouse, is, like the width is long, right? So my shoulder to my chest line is 9 inch, shoulder to waistline 19, 16 inches, and the length of my blouse is 24 inches, depending on the length you want to work with, okay? So first thing first, on my shoulder line, I'm going to mark half of my across back measurements, okay? Which some people call shoulder measurements, it's the same thing. Okay, so I'll mark seven as my cross back measurement. I will join it together like so. Then from that point, I'll mark the length of the sleeve I want to work with. So I'll just mark 24 inches for the length of my sleeve. Okay. And I'll mark the same thing on the um, chest line. Though that's not the, um, that is not where the real position of the sleeve would be. Okay, but... What I'll do now is I'm going to come down from um, <clears throat> my chest line. So I'll mark about one or two inches above the waistline. You know, the sleeve is cut together with the blouse. So you cannot use your, you can't stop the sleeve measurement at the chest line exactly. You'll be able to move your hands. So um, I'm going to come about two inches above my waistline. Okay. I'm, just, I'm trying to you know, mark all my lines clearly. So I'll mark the same 24 inches, okay, on that um, 2 inches above my waistline measurement. So that will be my sleeve opening. Let me adjust my pattern paper well so that we can see what I'm doing. So I'm marking 2 inches up from the waistline, okay. Then I'll just square it to my shoulder line over there. Okay, so you can see that yeah now um on my waist and um hemline depending on how free you want the blouse to be okay so i will mark quarter of my hip plus one inch for ease not the same amount now ease okay but if you don't want it to be too free you can just mark quarter of your hip then um on the waistline there you know we came up by um one or two inches let me just draw the line so that we don't get confused so now what i'll do is i'll first of all mark the half of my across back sorry i'm sorry please i'm marking the same measurement i marked on my hip line okay i'm marking the same thing on the waistline like so then I will now link this point now to um, the sleeve opening, okay? So you can see that I'm trying to square it and then I'll just draw a curve like this. Yeah. So my sleeve opening is very close to my waistline. Can you see that? Okay. So now I'm going to cut out my pattern and this will be used for both the front and the back. Okay. So, um... Before we continue, we're going to mark the neckline now. So I'll just do um, 3.5 inch for the neck width. And then for the neck depth, you can do 4. I can still make it 4 inches, right? Then my shoulder slant is 1 inch from the sleeve opening. So I'm going to use my long ruler to connect that together. Okay, so um, now 
I'm going to cut out the unwanted part of my pattern. Like I said before, you can cut this directly on your fabric. Okay, if I'm doing all of these markings on my fabric, I'm sure most of us will not see what I'm doing. So, this is it here. I'm just trimming out all the excesses on my pattern on my pattern paper. So I'm done cutting. I'm done cutting. So now I'm going to work on the neckline. Okay. So what I'll do is I'm going to use my French curve to draw the neckline on one side of the pattern. I'll come down by four inches from my neck depth. Then I'll use my curve driller or my French curve, whichever one, to draw the um neckline on one side of the pattern so now i can open up my blouse pattern okay i'm trying to mark where the neckline ends on the other side so that by the time i want to work on it it will be very easy so now i've opened up my pattern here this other side of my pattern will be the Part that has an off shoulder so I'm folding back I want to trace my shoulder line there so that it will reflect on the other side of my pattern and I'm sure that everything is um well placed and all so I'm just tracing out like so after tracing out um yeah I'm going to highlight it now so that we can see good so this is now my shoulder measurement on the other side of my blouse, right? So like I said, we're doing an asymmetric blouse. So one side is going to be all shoulder. So what I'll do now is from my shoulder line, I'll come down by four inches. If it's too off, you can probably do maybe three inches. Okay, so that's four inches. Then away from the that line, I'll mark two inches on the tip of my pattern paper there. Okay. If you want it very off, you can do five inches. So I'm just checking my measurements. Now I'm going to use my curve ruler to link to link all those three points together. So first I will link um my neckline on the other side to the off shoulder part. So I'll use my my this other curve to do that i'm trying to blend up okay so i'm going to use i'm using this to blend up then then i'll link it to the other side the part where we marked them two inches can we see it so one side of the blouse is an off shoulder the other side has a shoulder so I'm, i'll trim the neckline out now I'm going to trim it out okay so this is it here so now we have a blouse that is asymmetric in nature meaning they are not equal on the same side so I'll quickly cut this on my fabric okay so um you need about three to three and a half yards of fabric to make this yes because you need to open the pattern you can't cut it on full it has to be opened so i've already cut it on my fabric and i'm cutting two of this and i'm adding my seam allowance round one inch for side seam then the lower part of the fabric i added two inches for my real end and then the neckline added half inch <laughs> then um one more thing i also cut out a facing for my blouse so your facing is just a shorter version of the blouse okay my you know the neckline must blend up can you see my facing on that just a shorter version like your lining but it's just a little bit smaller so now i'll go i've pinned my face into the blouse i'll go ahead and turn the neckline on the back and the front then when i do that i will join my front and back pieces together at the shoulder with half inch seam allowance okay so here it is i've joined my facing can you see my facing so and i'm also doing my shoulder slant on the other side too and um, i've turned the neckline like i said 
Now, I'm going to do a real, I'm going to sew my side seam on the blouse. One inch on both sides. Okay. Okay, so now that I've done that, I will roll the edges of my sleep opening. You first of all iron half inch down with your pressing iron like, like I've done. Then you sew, you roll it the second time and sew with half inch seam allowance. Okay, like that. You do the same thing for the other sleeve. Do the same thing for the hem of the blouse. Okay, you also sew, you fold in half inch twice and sew it round. Okay. So I'll just do that and I'll show us the next step. Now for the next step, I'm going to be passing an elastic through the sleeve opening. This is my treader here. So um, you measure your, your um, bicep measurements or where the sleeve will stop. So if it's about 14, you just take away 4 inches from the original measurement. So this is 10 inches. Okay. So I'll use the treader to pass the thread round. Okay, I'll show us, and it's the same process I'll use to pass the thread, sorry, the elastic on the other sleeve. Then for the hem of the blouse, what you do is you measure your waist circumference and take away about four inches away. That will be the length of the elastic. So you also pass the elastic around the hemline of the blouse. So once you do that, this is it here. I'll run a stitch, multiple stitch on this elastic, or you tie it and you close it, and that's all. So this is the outcome of the blouse. It's a very simple tutorial. I used about three to three and a half yards of Ankara fabric. Okay. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Kindly give it a thumbs up. Leave your comment and reaction. And very, very importantly, do not forget to subscribe and share.